My name is Alaina Salualalo. I'm a tutorial fellow at the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Uh, I started conducting online classes on the 27th of April 2020. I was prompted to start online teaching when it was communicated to us by our COD and we were told to ensure that we cover all the theoretical aspects of our units online and then we were also told that the practical components of the units will be able to be covered during the first week when the college reopens. When the memo came out, I took one week to be able to prepare my students. We created our ZAP group. So first of all, I carried out a survey to know the number of students who can access internet and those who cannot access internet. The internet then also checked on the sustainability of the program because at that particular moment in time, our students had not been provided with subsidized bundles. I'm happy to report that majority of my students were positive and from the survey I noted that more than 70% of the students could at least start participating in the online classes. I have to appreciate the following support from the university management. The first one was that um, uh, I was able to participate in a Kenneth training on how to use their web conference tool I was also not denied access to the academic office from where I could access free internet and also the university ensured that our internet was available within the university. The university now uh, supplied us with the telecom SIM cards which have been loaded with 30 GB internet bundles and of course that one has greatly also improved our delivery on online teaching services. I'm happy to report that uh, uh, JQuad has also part partnered with Kenneth and Telco and they are also providing our students with the same and also I think Safaricom and Airtel have also been brought on board to be able to provide our students with subsidized panels so I think that will go a great way in uh, contributing to the success of online teaching. The, the, the school has really helped us, it has given us the opportunity to have CV. They have talked to the service provider, the respective ones that we use in our daily, like the Telcom, Airtel, and, and Safaricom, has given us the opportunity to extend the classes. Uh, preparing and delivering online class calls for much more than what we are used to with the face to face delivery in classrooms. So, actually, our preparations to be able to deliver an online lecture. Uh, begins uh, either two days to the lecture or a day to the lecture. So first of all, you begin by creating the meeting using a suitable platform. You can use the Kenneth Web Conference platform or you can use the Zoom platform. And while the students are connecting to the meeting, you confirm that they can audibly get your audio from their end and then you can also share the screen of the material you want to cover and confirm with them that they can access the PowerPoint screen you have shared. Good afternoon members and welcome to our meeting this afternoon for triple E 2314 transmission lines. May I kindly get a confirmation from your end if my voice can be heard? Happy. Thank you. That is who? Juma. Juma Huntington. Thank you. Three more confirmations? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is who? Ndolo. Thank you, Ndolo. Thank you, Ndolo. Thank you, Dennis Ndolo. Any more confirmation? Two more? I am very really happy. That is who? Faith. Yes, Faith. Thank you, Faith. Another confirmation. Uh, there are different ways of ensuring that um, um, uh, students participate actively in the online teaching uh, platform. Of course, this being a virtual platform, it is sometimes difficult to monitor what the students are doing at the other end. But uh, for me, what has been working for me, the first thing you do is you need to ensure that you make the content as interesting to the students as possible. You try to motivate the students so that uh, they see value in the time that they are signing or they are connecting to the class. And then after you've motivated them to join the class, whatever you're teaching, you make it as interesting to them as possible. Then occasionally you will be calling names of the students at random. For me, when I'm delivering an online class, I will be having the students register with me. So occasionally you will be calling the students' names um, at random and then of course you will you, you be able to, to, to test uh, uh, to check on their presence in the class. The mode of supervision the lecturer uses 
uh, he, he posed questions on the, as the class is, uh, continues, he'll ask a question here and there, then the student will give response. So meaning, there are people who are attending the class. And you, as an individual, you also want to be part of the class, so you have to do your part. Then, over the chat area, because it gives a time stamp to the text that has been put there, you need to tell the students to be always uh, commenting and, and, and maybe putting, noting down the registration numbers on the chat area. So that if you have a, a, a two-hour lecture, then you ask them to do that one every 15 minutes or every 20 minutes. I have to admit that engineering is a technical course and actually the practical aspects supersedes the theoretical aspects and we throw so much weight on the practical aspects. So uh, because the memo from uh, our principal had instructed that we we handle the theoretical aspects of the course, but in most cases you also need to make this one as vivid to the students as possible. So what I did is, uh, first of all, I decided to look for um, a substitute to the board, in which case uh, the Zoom platform I've been using has got um, a whiteboard, and then I uh, also ensured that I have a touchscreen laptop so that I can scribble on the, on the, on the whiteboard. Of course, if you have a smart pen, it means that uh, you can write the same way you write on a, on a physical whiteboard. That is the same way you can write on the whiteboard on the, on the Zoom platform. For Mr. Love's class, he always records his lessons and he really um, shrinks the, the, the size of the lesson. I don't know how to put it, but the file is put in a way that it's zipped to a really small size, so you don't have to use a lot of bundles to download it. It's being strong together that enables us to achieve bigger things. So I will appreciate each one of us to give the school the, the, the humble time to make sure that we like we don't know the future, we don't know where the spaceship of coronavirus will take us, but the fact that we have the heart and the willingness to achieve something big at the end, it gives us the opportunity to become strong as a community and as an institution. I want to appreciate the efforts that have been made by Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology to be able to roll out online uh, uh, learning uh, systems as a way of uh, responding to the situation, the COVID-19 situation that is facing the country right now. The reality with us is that uh, uh, the issue of embracing technologies in teaching is something that we cannot run away from. So I think those guidelines should be given going forward so that we have uh, a successful implementation of online teaching uh, program. Okay. Thank you.